In this video, I will help you to understand better our C93 product range. C93 product range is a top of our offering uh, this year, delivers all the best we can offer in mini LED uh, product uh, area. So let's look into the details and what you can get uh, with uh, C93. So starting from clarity, which is the first point in delivering premium TV picture performance, you get deep learning upscaling and you get also artificial intelligence helping with the contour. Two major things uh, for uh, content which is lower resolution than the one you see on the screen and content which is extremely compressed. On the contrast side, uh, you get very high peak brightness uh, of uh, 2500 nits in dynamic mode, uh, 2000 nits in movie mode. You get also 1080 zones in 65 inch or 100, 1920 zones in 75 inch, so huge number. If you want to understand why we do so many zones, there is dedicated training uh, for it where I explain. In terms of color, to be able to reproduce lifelike color together with dynamic contrast, we use uh, QLED technology. So here we can cover 77% of REC 2020, which is a significant improvement over past uh, products from the past years. Motion, interpolation up to 120 Hz, uh, so you can sit closer, especially on 75. When you sit close, you will understand the difference. Then also 144 Hz over HDMI for PC gaming. Then in terms of uh, smart experience, of course, Google TV, Apple AirPlay 2, uh, Chromecast, Miracast, so everything you need to share your local content. And uh, then in terms of uh, gaming and connectivity, uh, you get uh, HDMI 2.1, uh, 48 gig, uh, so you can get uh, 120 UHD or 144 UHD from PC in terms of gaming with very short input uh, lag. And of course, all this in HDR. This product delivers all HDR functionalities uh, and uh, is yeah, have uh, HDR10, HLG, Dolby Vision, Dolby Vision IQ, HDR10+. Plus. So everything you can get. In terms of audio, you get soundbar, so front firing sound, up firing sound, subwoofer on the back. So again, the best solution for your home cinema. Then product, as you see, is designed as 360 design with central stand, it's very slim. And uh, then uh, it's done uh, of uh, premium metal materials. How we compare this product uh, to other products on the market, you see here, uh, we see that uh, we can uh, put it in front of uh, Samsung uh, 65 QN91B, which is done by many testers right now. We can, we can also do it versus Sony X95K. We can do it versus uh, LG QNet91 and uh, Philips PML9507. You see how this product perform, what is the dynamic range, what type of panel we use, and why TCL in many areas is the best choice. But uh, I don't want only to talk about uh, functionalities, but also I want to prove what we measured. And we did it with uh, Kalman and then with uh, all the measuring tools. So you see that the uh, color volume is 100%. Uh, then uh, the coverage of the gamut is 77% uh, for REC 2020. Uh, 20. Then uh, the product performs per perfectly well in all the formats like HDR10, like Dolby Vision, HDR, HLG in many cases. Average Delta E, which is color error, is below 1 or below 1.5, which is completely invisible for human eye. More, uh, we also work uh, very hard on the uniformity for the gray and also for the bright, which is uh, very high. 
Versus last year product, we significantly improved viewing angle. You see there is no color gamut degradation of center. Also, you don't see it for the contrast. You don't see it for the brightness. And then in terms of anti-reflection, uh, product was measured uh, by some reviewers uh, to, have, to have it uh, below 2%. Then, uh, he is uh, here to show you how APL curve works and uh, how you can get HDR. That uh, 2000 nits is uh, in movie mode uh, available, which means in D65, uh, if we go for D11, so cool bright, it will be even brighter. ANSI contrast, which is the most difficult area to measure and assess products, is also extremely high for this product. Below you see a 6500 native uh, panel and then above you see with local dimming high. Then we can also compare this uh, product to uh, Samsung QN91B. You see that uh, it's uh, uh, same spectral power, however, we don't use the same quantum dot enhancement film and we get the same color gamut. Then how blue light filter works, uh, you see here that uh, in uh, there is a toxic blue area which is below 415 nanometers. We don't touch this toxic blue. Our center is 448 and then when you enable blue light filter, so then the power of blue is going significantly down.